Yeah. Uh, Chatham. Where do you start with that? It... Chatham. It's really good. I love that little man because this process has taken a long time. Chatham came together in a, in a really complicated way. There were a lot of pieces to it, a lot of people involved. I guess you'd, you'd have to start with Alex Pardee. Uh, he does paintings, he does character designs. He is an artist of the avant-garde nature. If you don't know what that means, then you don't get to know who Alex is. When I was about 15, I read a comic book called The Max by Sam Keith, and that character alone it just jostled my imagination and just inspired me to to start changing the direction the way that I think and draw and want to tell stories and, and made me want to tell my own stories and so since then I've constantly been creating you know that that's kind of the thing that that inspired me to, to get going and, and start creating these otherworldly things he wound up doing a character design for the rock band known as the used uh, they took this character and they put him on the front of the album cover but before you knew it, all the people that had listened to uh, The Used, they all sort of recognized this character, Chatham. But as it started to wind down, Alex wanted to keep Chatham alive and started the Chatham Libs MySpace page. In response to fans, started talking about Chatham, the other characters, and the Chatham universe. Over a course of, I believe, very few months, tens of thousands of people had become fans and were asking to hear the Chatham story. So essentially, Alex wound up creating a text-based series on MySpace. Chatham is a character that I created that is the embodiment of imagination. He exists in this world where imagination is actually a physical gland rather than just a concept. And Chatham was born with the strongest imagination gland. It's so strong, in fact, that he can use his imagination to physically manipulate the environment. The only problem is Chatham does not understand his powers and does not realize the power of, of his imagination. When I originally conceived this project, I imagined it as a live action film, as practical effects, big rubber masks, but obviously that had limitations. We had this desire to create this complete computer animated movie for the internet. Computer animated movies are, are big, you know, Pixar and, and, and the Toy Story and all, I mean, they're big. Internet it is, I mean, the budget and the, the, so what do you do? What's, what's the solution there? Well, I have a background in making video games and I have witnessed the creation of what we call in-game cinematics. This is when we use um, our video game technology to sort of tell parts of the story that's not interactive. You're playing Gears of War. There's this moment where the game takes over and it just shows you what we call an in-game cinematic. So you'll be playing the game and then suddenly it'll like play and tell you some of the story and then boom, you're back in the game. This was also done in, in games like Bioshock. All of this is done inside the engine. So we thought maybe then it could fit inside the internet economics there, maybe. It's small. Because imagination plays such a key role in Chatham's story, we needed something where, we needed a medium where our imagination would be the limit. I called up my friends over at Epic. See, Epic makes the engine technology called Unreal. And uh, I told them, here's what we want to do. Uh, and can we use your engine? And, and they were, they, they, they thought we could do it. All of a sudden, our limitations were just knocked down. We could do whatever we want now. I mean, we could start over and build this entire universe in this animated online world. The Unreal Engine 3 gives us that opportunity and we can tell the story that we originally wanted to tell from the beginning perfectly. So once we got the license to the Unreal 3 engine, we had to go out and find a director that could actually use it. Uh, Chatham's being done in the Unreal Engine. It's a game engine. It hasn't really been done before making a whole film in this game engine. Given the opportunity to use the Unreal Engine 3 to physically build this world that we imagined, it's, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer, I think. It's, it's, it's perfect. You know, we're taking uh, from the scratch, we had storyboards, we did a lot of mocap with House of Moves. 
Paul Steed, uh, Exigent, they created some wonderful characters. Paul Steed, between his game developing and his cigar smoking, he led an amazing crew in India and China to develop these characters in Chatham. The process of the model creation starts with Alex providing us with the reference materials, the actual character depictions as he has envisioned it in his mind. We take those materials and we give them to 3D modelers and then they sit in front of their computer and they extrude and create the actual 3D character. And they have to texture them, um, you know, put the clothes on and make sure it looks all correct. But then even beyond that, they have to put a skeletal structure inside the model. Because this is a process we have to apply to every single character inside the Chatham universe to bring it all together. And what we did with those models is we set up some actors at House of Moves with motion capture suits and played out the script in the, in the storyboards and got most of the acting done with that, which was pretty fast. And we took a lot of those mocaps and created a lot of unique animations. Understand, this has never been done. You've had like the, the machinima stuff where people take uh, old games and kind of use those characters. But this is, this is from the ground up, baby. This is front to back. This has not been done. I know a lot of people may have seen machinimas, uh, things of those nature, where they're using recycled game animations. But the thing about Chatham is every animation is almost unique uh, for, the, for the story and the acting. That, you know, the animation is probably what's taken the longest. So we're the animation team for Chatham. Sometimes the stuff is missing, so we have to go in and key animate it by hand. Viceroy was really a pain in the butt because uh, though we had the motion capture for him, we had a lot of stuff that needed to be done, like fingers and cloth, and cloth really, really sucked. All right, see the way the, the coat flaps, kind of giving it a good physics. The way it hits the ground and it kind of conforms to the ground, that's the stuff that we added in there. After bringing in the motion capture, then we have to animate it in 3D Max. What we do is select the bones, like for example, the tentacle, we could actually animate it. As you'll see right here on Chatham's uh, head, he has drips that you can't get from the uh, motion capture that we got. We didn't get those drips, so we had to go in there and hand animate them. Or Simpkins fingers, they have a little push off, as you'll see. Oh, sometimes it's mixed together. The run could be all motion capture, and this little hiding section, that's all key animated. And that's how we kind of uh, animate on top of the uh, motion capture, adding on layers and stuff. And once we finish off one of those sequences, we go ahead and just mark it off on the storyboards. Have you ever done something like this before? No. It's actually my first production uh, just, out of, uh, just out of school. Say that you're listening to voices. Yeah, they're pretty good. You're uh, listening to the voice casting. I'm Rodney Rickford. Or, uh, I'm reading for the, the Chatham and Ripley characters and trying to decide Sean Hankinson? who's going Chatham. to play him. That's what we're doing now. That's it. Wait, that was, those were all the Chathams? Wait. For, for, right, for this CD, we've got about yeah. seven more to go. So we have a library here of more targets that were created for character Chatham. And blink, angry, fear, happy, down, etc. We have poses for the mouths. So all we're doing here is we're just manipulating the vertices. We're not using bones. And with face effects, uh, we're able to blend these poses along with our phonemes. O, open. Th these represent, you know, for the alphabet when the character is talking. Hey, Amanda, your pup and mom called and said you can't hang out with babies anymore. Then I can't hang out with you. I am Alex Pardee, and this is my good friend Sid Haig, who is eating kettle chips and will be playing Simkin, the uh, tough guy, I guess. <laughs> Sandy! I have a gift for you, by the way. Oh my god! That's amazing. You better find the courage to be the man she thinks you are. He didn't let Palco die. It was the pallid. It was the pallid! That's perfect. I need to get as tall as Jace. I think you were a lot of weight. I think you're a little bit more handsome than that. I think so. That is really beyond cool. And it'll only get cooler as this goes along. This is like the ultra coolest uh, little project that I've uh, come across in a while. So uh, basement trying to do it justice. I discovered something in all of the bodies I studied. A small, soft, heart-shaped organ. An undocumented gland. Yeah. The word? Yeah. I can't thank you enough. Hey, man, I thank you. Hi, I'm Carl Weathers, and I'm about to do the narration for Chatham. The 
island metropolis of Vulture was a vibrant city. Large portions of its citizens fled to Cardboard City, the farthest region of the metropolis. Oh my god, you That's guys. Thank you. You just got my style, actually. I would dress that way. <laughs> really sweet. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katie Seagal. I'm reading the part of Sandy. And she's trying to sort of soft pedal it? Yeah, bit. exactly. I got it. Okay. Cardboard City has changed since you were last with us. Don't you people have anything better to do? Chatham, honey, are you okay? All right, it's perfect. Oh, we just spent two days recording the voices, and with Mike's wonderful help, and everybody else in the cast, high five, we are wrapped it's on nice. the sound, or the voices. Okay, it's studio time, we're spending whatever. too much money. Right. I'm sorry, studio time. I just pray people turn on their computer screens and watch Chatham. Please, just watch Chatham. Okay, I I'm out, I'm out of here. That's a wrap, done. That's awesome.